Hello everybody, it's Michelle Patterson here with Angel Souls and this is our weekly angelic message for the week beginning November 16th, 2020. Before we dive in, if you decide that you like this video, please make sure that you are subscribed. I really appreciate that. And of course, if you would like a personal reading with me, just go to my website at angelsouls444.com. We're going to go in deep, okay? <laughs> we will go in deep, see what kind of energy you need to be aware of. And of course, please don't forget, I do have courses, everything about angels and some spirituality topics over at gumroad.com slash angel souls. And a very special thank you to all of my Patreon supporters. If you'd like to support me on Patreon, I leave all of that information down below. So let's get into it. For this week, I feel like this is us getting revved up and taking care of business. Now that is on a personal level. So for some people out there, this is that kind of energy of I've been stuck, I've been stuck, I've been stuck, and now I see the way forward. And yet for some others, there, there could be some aggression. <laughs> there could definitely be some aggression going on here because, you know, maybe there were a lot of power struggles and, you know, people are just trying to take advantage and, you know, this sort of thing. And you just, you know, if you allow it in, you can have this moment of clarity of here's my way forward. Um, I'm going to emotionally detach from this situation. It's draining me too much and I'm just going to take care of business. Okay. So that is something that might be going on here. Of course, you know, health is coming up. We know what's happening around that, but, um, that's more like globally. Yes. So there's going to be more of that sort of same thing that we've been dealing with this year going on this week. But for individuals, I feel like this would be like health scares. So try not to freak out. Of course, take very good care of yourself. Consult with a doctor if you feel like you need a doctor, but try not to freak out. All right. I, I was telling you guys last week I had a sinus infection, you know, and I'm every little whatever is going on. I'm contacting my doctor going, do I need to do anything? <laughs> right? So like, I totally get it. You know, we, we ruled out everything else. I mean, it was so clearly a sinus infection, but still, you know, so you might be feeling the need to, um, you know, double check with a professional, you know, so don't be alarmed, I guess, you know, again, make sure you're taking all precautions, make sure you are taking care of your health, but try to remain calm. Okay. I guess is what I'm getting at here. There are lots of things. It's sort of like, mm, be careful with flinging forward too quickly because it's like, I'm seeing like rusty gears and then the rust breaks and then we go flying off in a direction. So you could fly off the handle. You could, that aggression could turn into anger. You know, it could be being a little too pushy, but definitely do not. Okay. So I'm, I'm feeling this need to sort of tell you guys to try to identify uh, where, where your energy is leaking out. Does that make sense? So again, it kind of goes into that idea of taking care of business where it's just like, you know what? That home repair has been driving me nuts for forever. I'm just going to go hire someone to take care of it. Or I'm just going to look into how to do it myself and take care of it. I'm not going to keep messing with it. Uh, you know, so it, it has this kind of, it can have a nice feeling where whatever's been sort of looming over you, <laughs> you find a solution to it, but it does require a little bit of effort on your part to make it happen. Okay. So there's that. I'm hearing that relationships are going to be strained this week. Everybody's just kind of on edge. And I think we're all kind of dealing with that forward motion. And it's almost as if we just got flung out of bed, right? It's just kind of, <laughs> you're just kind of going along. You kind of got used to being you're kind of maybe lethargic or something. And then all of a sudden it's like high alert and you don't know which way to go. So try to remember your meditations this week. Try to remember to stay very calm. Remember the whole point of us going through everything that we're experiencing right now, I think is to raise our consciousness, to expand our awareness, right? So that involves being human. So when we get into these modes where we're trying to escape being human, now you're working against your path. Now you're working against what your purpose is. There's something around shifting what you do day to day as well. So again, this could be like what we've been dealing with this whole year where people are having to adjust, okay, to how they 
work or how they relate to their families or what have you. But this is this has a nice feel. We're gonna have to stay very alert, but this could have a very nice uh, conclusion for some people where it's like, no, this got me in touch with what my true passion is. This is getting me in touch with what I realize still needs to be healed. And now I'm taking steps to continue my healing or whatever. So there's some eye-opening kind of thing going on here. Are there gonna be things happening out in the world? Yeah, okay. <laughs> What do you want, okay? Shifts, changes, shocks. Ugh. Take it as a given from here on out, okay? Like that's just what's gonna be happening, okay? So let's get onto the cards. All right, let's see what else we have here. Hmm. So I'm seeing a line and I see this sharp spike and then there's like this line again. Um, now that's gonna mean different things to different people. What I think it feels like to me is like we're all just kind of staying level, staying level, and then something shocks us. Staying level, staying level, staying level, and then we realize it was for the best. Or whatever maybe pops up. I feel like this is a big thing, like that it affects everybody, but it's gonna have like a personal effect on us too. So I don't know what it's gonna be. Again, uh, everything's a shock a minute. Like, what are we gonna do, right? <laughs> so we have communication is key, new moon in Gemini. So this is speaking a truth, speaking up. Again, watch that aggression. Make sure it doesn't turn into anger. But definitely, there could be some communication um, moments like where there was poor communication. Now it's starting to iron out. Um, this could feel a little exhausting for some of you because you feel like you have to explain yourself. Again, you know, I always come back to customer service examples. I'm still dealing with a company that didn't send me my stuff. They took my money, didn't send me my stuff. And trying to communicate with these people is like pulling teeth, okay? It's like, <laughs> so hopefully, you know, things start to kind of flow a little bit better. I just dropped the entire deck all over the floor. It just went flying everywhere. <laughs> so like, Ugh, okay, so I gotta get my hair out of my mouth. Okay, so let's get the next card. <laughs> They're probably all like every which way now. Ugh, literally just sitting there holding them and they just went out of my hands. I was like, really? <laughs> okay, don't mind me. All right. Yeah, we're learning how to handle tough situations, guys. So we really have to start You know, really don't don't cause any fights, I guess is what I'm getting at here. You might have to stand up for yourself. And someone might accuse you of being a troublemaker, but or something like that. But communication is key, right? So it's speaking your truth and leaving it there. Okay? And walking away and going, okay, you know what? We'll pick this up later at a different time. So balance spirituality and practicality. Full moon in Pisces. So again, managing your emotions, not doing spiritual escapism, which again gets you off your path, or doing toxic positivity, just so you seem like you're above it all, you know, and don't follow people who do that, okay? And, and being practical and just saying, hey, we are still human, having a human existence. We have to face the things that are occurring for us. And that might also mean maybe this is the week that you get some help. You know, maybe this is the week that you um, decide to do that kind of internal progress, right? A, a time for healing, balsamic moon. There you go. There it is. So instead of us taking uh, all of these unresolved issues, whether it's trauma healing or something along those lines, instead of taking that out on other people, which, you know, it's where a lot of this violence comes from. It's just, are people trying to, you know, take advantage of one another? It's because they're afraid of losing. You know, instead of doing that, maybe this is the week that we look at where we can heal. Not everybody's going to do that, of course. As I always say, people who, my hair hitting my mic. <laughs> people who uh, say that they don't need therapy are usually the ones who need it the most. It's time to take action, new moon and Aries. Yeah, so <laughs> forward movement, that's what we were saying. And again, this could be where uh, people are at cross purposes with one another. It's, you know, it, I'm seeing like a gate opening up and everybody rushing in. All right. And so people are sort of tripping over one another and it could get 
pretty bad. So we wanna be careful with that. Make sure that you're taking a balanced approach to your forward motion. Yes, okay. So, uh, man, these cards, they wanna like fly everywhere. What is happening? <laughs> Okay, and I'm bringing the color cards back. Let's see what we have. <sighs> Some of you are gonna like be ready to go and then you immediately you're like, oh gosh, I need another break. I need another, <laughs> I need to slow down again. This is too much. Oh, these cards are jumpy. Okay, so this is gonna be a high frequency, weak, yes. Okay, so you ready? We have gold, attract abundance. The number is 21. So things are in motion. <laughs> we all have to be careful. We all have to be careful here because we could get so excited on something that we are impulsive. Um, compulsive is coming up too. So, but this gold color is a lot of high frequency. So there's like a rush of energy that comes in just be very, very careful on what you do with it. Yes, okay. Cause, because you might, <laughs> you might be rethinking some of your goals, I think is the point here, or you just have a completely different perspective. Again, the only way that I could tune in personally for you is to get a personal reading, if that's something that seems like you wanna do. But there are all these different segments here. So there are people realizing like, hey, I can't do this alone. I'm gonna get some help. I'm gonna do that deep healing. Uh, for some of you out there, you're just starting on your spiritual path. And so you are, you know, committing to that and saying, no, I'm going to make time to tune in. Um, and yet others, you're realizing, no, I need to stand strong and find my voice. It's time to resolve this situation or it's time to go in this direction with my career. I've realized over this year, this isn't what I want to do anymore. This sort of thing. Okay. So we're going to leave it there, guys. I'm sending you all so much love and take care.